Hello, my lovely people. We are back again with another recipe. Today we are cooking palm fruit stew. Okay. In the Gambia, we call it um, mule. In the Gambia, we call it mule. So the ingredients we have are the palm fruit itself that is already washed here and we are boiling it. Okay. So the rest of our ingredients are here. We have the protein on this plate. So we have four fresh fish, yaboy and kobo. Okay, so we have four of that. We have catfish, smoked catfish. We have um, kaukanda. Kaukanda is optional. If you have meat, it's okay. Whatever kind of meat, beef, lamb, whatever kind of meat you have. But today we're using kaukanda alone. Okay. Then we also have dry fish, which is this one, dried catfish and dried snails. Okay. So th these are the proteins that we have. Coming to the vegetables, we have three habanero peppers just to throw in it. We have six small habanero peppers to pound with the, the locust bean, this one, and half an onion, yellow onion and six fresh tomatoes. So the, to the, the ingredients that we are going to grind are the tomatoes, the habanero peppers, the small ones, half an onion, and the locust bean. These are the only ingredients you need to pound together with the spring onions, okay? So those are going to be pounded. We also have tomato paste, okay, that you also pound together with it. So you all first of all have to pound all of these ingredients the fresh tomatoes, the habanero pepper, half the onion, the locust bean, okay, when it is, and the spring onions, when those are well pounded, so it should be really well pounded or blended. You can use a blender as well for it. And then add in the tomato paste at the last minute. So all of those are going to be mixed together. And then we have uh, three aubergines, fresh aubergine, uh, jahatu, and we have okra as well. So these are our vegetables that we're going to use in our our new okay that is our palm fruit sauce okay so here we have another separate water so we're going to put boil this one also so it can either be boiled or it can just be uh, warm water okay but a little bit hot not to boil in but it should be hot water and that's what we're going to use with the to extract the juice out of the the pounded palm fruit okay so the the one we the boil the water that we boil it in we're going to throw that because if we use that same water that's going to be bitter so we have to throw that water and then use fresh water fresh hot water to extract the juice out of the out of the palm kernel or palm fruit Okay, so as we are pounding the, the palm fruit, we, will, we are putting this cow candle now and allow that to boil and get tender before we finish with the palm fruit and then you can add it to, to it. Okay, so the palm fruit is already pounded and this is how it looks. So we are going to use this hot water, add it to it and and extract the juice out of it. Okay. So we add in just a little amount of water. Okay. okay. So we use hot water also because it has some oil in it. And if you use cold water, it kind of it kind of stays on the, the container that you use it. So using hot water releases out all of the oils. So at this stage, we're now going to sieve it. So we're first sieving it here, and then we use a finer sieve to, to extract all of the all of the goodies out of the pan. So the calcanda has been boiling for twenty minutes almost. We're adding in the 
um, fruit juice that we extracted. We've now added some salt to our fish and uh, we are going to add that to the palm fruit and let it boil with it, okay? Because the fish needs to cook, so we're going to add that to it and allow it to boil and cook the fish, then we will take the fish out to debone it, okay? fish also goes in. We will take these out at the end of the day. But we want all the juices to stay in the in the soup. So we add in those. Okay, so here we have our pounded ingredients. The habanero pepper, locust mint, spring onions, the fresh tomatoes, and the tomato paste all blended. Okay, this is how it looks. So now we are going to remove the fish. already cooked we're going to remove the fish to the bone and then immediately add in the, the pounded ingredients So at this stage, we add in the dried fish and the pounded ingredients. Now we add in the pounded ingredients. Basically, that's all we need. Now we're going to let this simmer down all the way. We're going to let it simmer all the way down. Okay, now, as you can see, we are adding the, the aubergine, the bitter tomatoes, okay, and the okra. So at this stage, we are adding in our vegetables. Okay, so the fish is already deboned fish and the, the fresh fish we've already deboned them so those ones goes, go in when it's about to thicken okay now as you can see it has simmered down a little bit we are adding in all the fish the deboned fish so here remember the type of fish you use is not that much important we use fresh fish here because it is tastier okay the taste here is really nice so we normally use fresh fish in my house. After adding the fish, we are now adding in our Maggi bouillon. Okay, Maggi bouillon, two of it. Okay, remember we salted the fish, so that salt was almost okay. So we will add the Maggi bouillon and then taste to see if the salt is okay. If it is okay, we add. It's, then we leave it like that. If it is not, we add in a little bit of salt. Okay. Now we are also adding in a little bit of lime. Okay, lime juice. Okay. So there you go. Here is the final product of the palm fruit stew. Okay. You can see all of the oil that is oozing out of it. We didn't add any extra oil to this. It's only the oil from the palm fruit itself. If you like our video, please do click on the subscribe button, share with your friends and family, and we wish you all the best. Bon appetit, and do have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>